everyone and welcome to today's video. So this week we're going to be talking about our degus. So what is a degu? A degu is a small rodent. They look a little bit like a mouse, um, but they're a little bit fuzzy, a bit like a chinchilla. They've actually got a fluffy end to their tail. So degus come from Chile and they would normally be found at the low levels of mountains, so quite a rocky area with a little bit of sand and dirt in their soil. So here at the Ark Centre, they live in our desert. Now we've made their enclosure try and look as natural as possible to their natural habitat. So in their enclosure, they've got lots of branches because they're fantastic climbers. And we have also got lots of massive rocks for them to dig around. We've made sure that their substrate is a good mix of sand and soil to replicate what they would normally have in the wild. We love planting in their enclosure and we typically plant in there every couple of months because the degus are very good at eating all the plants that we put in there. The soil is also bioactive, which means that there are insects living in the soil, which help to keep it nice and clean for our degus. Now, speaking of being clean, our degus love to give themselves a bath. However, they don't give themselves a bath how you would normally think. They love to roll around in sand and clean their fur that way. This basically means that the oils in their fur get trapped onto the sand and therefore come out of their fur as they're rolling around in the sand. We normally see them do this a few times a day and they like to keep nice and clean. So at the Ark Centre, we started with four degus. We got them when they were around two, three years old um, and they have lived a very long time. We only actually currently have one left at the moment, Ninja. Now he is our most timid of all of the degus we've had. So we had Chubbs, Kojak, Number Four and Ninja. And they all got their names for different reasons. So Kojak was named after the gorilla in Tarzan and he had like a silver back to him. Hence, the, hence we named him after a gorilla. And um, Chubbs was the chubbiest. Um, Ninja has always been the best at climbing. And then we had this fourth one that was at the bottom of the pack and um, didn't really have any massively defining features. And there is a film called Nine in which the characters have got different numbers and therefore our little Degu became number four. So um, number four passed away first. Um, and then in this last year, we've also lost um, Chubbs and Kojak. And so we've got Ninja left. Now, um, Ninja is very, very old. Um, he's about 10 um, and Degus typically only live between six and eight years. So he is a very old Degu if the um, age was correct when we first got them then he's about uh, 10 years old at the moment, which is uh, very, very old for a degu. So let me tell you a little bit about degus. So they are herbivores, which means that they eat a plant-based diet. Here at the Ark Centre, we typically give them a lot of hay and some special degu type pellets. Now, degus are actually very sensitive to sugar. Um, we'll be discussing this more on our diet day, um, but we don't give them anything sugary, like no pieces of fruit or anything, um, because they are prone to diabetes. Now, they are also diurnal. Now, the word diurnal means that they are active during the day, which is fantastic because a lot of rodents um, aren't. So this is why they became quite popular as pets because they are up during the day, so people can interact with them more. They're also very friendly as day go. They love to live in large groups. They aren't too happy being by themselves. Hence, we're very closely monitoring our lovely ninja to see how he is responding to being by himself. One of the really cool things about degus is there's been a lot of research done as to how smart degus are. And it's thought that they're about as smart as a raccoon, which is considered to be quite a smart mammal. Degus have been recorded even using some tools, which is very impressive as not a lot of animals can do this. Degus have even displayed a few specific behaviours which indicate they have an understanding of reasoning, meaning that they can problem solve. I hope you have enjoyed our video today all about degus. Tune in tomorrow to find out more about their diet and habitat. Thanks so much for watching guys. Bye!